Stan Jabalisco here from the Nerd Cave in the Black Hills of Dakota Territory, United States of America, <clears throat> proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Golf, Victor, the date, December 8, 2013, the time 4.11 p.m. Mountain Standard, or 23.11 Zulu. We're listening to 21 megahertz. And I heard a W6, actually it was an N6, having a rag chew with a JA station, that would be in Japan, on this band, right around uh, 21.032. There's an N2 coming in. Now this is, keep in mind, it's sunset here. At this time of year, the sun sets at about 4 o'clock. We're on the eastern edge of the time zone where everything happens the earliest. Uh, if we were on the western edge, it'd be an hour later that everything would happen pretty much in terms of the sun. So we get earlier sunrises than average and earlier sunsets all year long, actually. But I'm just tuning up through the band. There's some good signals here. The noise isn't too bad. Let's go see SSB mode. Um, the, the filter number two, you can see that over there by the filter designator. Filter number two, 1500 hertz wide. That's mainly for PSK reception, but it also, uh, in SSB mode, this IC746 Pro tunes faster, so I can zip through the band faster. Now there is a whole bunch of those slow MFSK signals, and that is a, a specialized mode, and I forget, it's an arcane name, but a colleague, uh, a, a, a guy who watches my videos in Europe, I believe is in Europe, judging by his call. He told me what this stuff is. It is a synchronous mode, or you need to synchronize your radios with a time standard like WWV, and it, they claim that it provides up to a 10 dB advantage over CW. There, the name of it is rather arcane and there's a whole bunch of different names it goes by. I, I wish they'd come up with something that's easier to remember because I, for the life of me, I can't remember what it is. But it's discussed in the ARRL uh, 2013 handbook in the, the digital modes section. Very interesting. I'd like to get on that mode sometime, but I don't uh, really want to go to the trouble right now of synchronizing my computer. But note that 21 megahertz is open, so things are a little better than they have been on the bands. Up high. That sounds like a signal, very weak. Note that we're now on 24 megahertz. There's the lower limit of the band. And, well, no, I'm not hearing anything now here. I did hear a couple of really weak signals on this band. That's a birdie. But not now. Let's try 18 megahertz. There's well, that's that's a DX station, I think. CO8LY. I've heard him a lot. That's Cuba. Well, at least it indicates that the band is uh, 
is functional. I mean, stuff is happening here. And, uh, well, but the noise level is pretty bad. And it's, note, the noise level not so bad on 21 megahertz. Now, on 14 megahertz, it's much worse. With the, with the preamp set fully on, it's almost S9. Nevertheless, there's some signals on PSK here that are so strong that they're actually overcoming that noise. But I don't want to operate on a band that's so masked with noise that... I mean, it's like driving with a really dirty windshield. That's too fast for me to read anymore, and it's probably about 50 words a minute. I uh, used to be able to read that stuff when I was in college, but I I don't bother with that kind of racing anymore. If you saw me in the swimming pool, you'd know that too. I just timed myself today in the swimming pool down in Sturgis. The heater in the water had failed. So I swam a little bit faster than usual. I was doing a 30 seconds per 25 yards. Now, some of you are really going to laugh at that, but I'm 60 years old. When I was your age, if you're laughing at me, chances are I was would, would lap myself every 50. But anyway, driving with a really dirty windshield. I don't know, why did I mention Sturgis? God, I don't know, I'm getting... There's some good signals here, but, but who wants to... Who wants to operate on a band that's so heavily masked with noise? I mean, you can't really hear anything. You can work really strong. Now, if you want to, if you just want to rag chew with somebody, that's fine. But if you want to really do some deep down digging DX and stuff like that, forget it. You're never going to be able to do that with noise like this. I've got to design a noise canceling antenna. Now, this antenna is not designed to transmit below 14 megahertz. It just really just won't work. I have tried. Looks sounds like a KK7, probably uh, Western United States. Well. Note the, the noise level here. We're on the CW filter. You put that on SSB. Look at that. S9 again. Now on 40 meters, well, I don't. you don't need the preamp on 40, usually. Some radio teletype. I've heard some, some fairly decent signals here. Uh, now, I thought, now, maybe PSK is down at 7035 here. I haven't heard any PSK on this band for a while. At 80 meters, uh, this antenna really won't even receive halfway decent. Remember, it's a 22-foot vertical, but it has a 50 picofarad series-connected capacitor at the base, which capacitively loads it to resonate on 14 megahertz, very good match, 1.2 to 1 SWR on 14 megahertz, practically all the way across the band. I mean, it's it's really an excellent match and an excellent radiator on that band, and I do get good performance. I doubt I'm going to hear any hams below 3,500 now, am I? <clears throat> I wonder what I wonder what kind of activity actually does take place down there. It's a little early for this band. <clears throat> I wouldn't hear much on here anyway. And then we've got 1.8 megahertz. <clears throat> Occasionally I do hear a few signals here, but this is just like, this is like trying to tune up into a piece of wet spaghetti. And you're not going to hear much with a piece of wet spaghetti either. With that, the deaf and blind 
Stan Jibalisco, W1GV, will sign off and say 73 from the Black Hills, the Nerd Cave, Dakota Territory, United States of America. Until next time, so long. <laughs>